Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in. Welcome back to Heron Park here on YouTube. Today I'll be using the Violet Palette from Julia's Place to pull off this inspired look. Shout out to whoever the artist is behind this arm art. You are the inspiration for this look and this tutorial. I'm going to be using the matte lavender shade, shade number six, as a transition. None of the mini palettes have individual names for the shadows. So for the sake of the video, I'm going to be numbering them off. Next is shade number three, and it's the deep matte purple. I'm going to be using that directly in the crease and to kind of carve out my eye shape. I chose to do the lightest to darkest, um, the light transition and then the dark pre-shade. I feel like if I would have done it the other way around, this look would have came out darker the way I wanted it to be from the start. But this was my first time using the palette, so I wanted to see what kind of range I would get between those two shades. about eight or nine dollars it's available online and at Ulta as well um, I've been using it religiously since I first started buying them and I have about three different ones right now I think there's four different colors I have to have them at first I was using Kat Von D's whiteout concealer but then I got turned on to this one and I've never went back Shade. Next, I'm going to blend my lid shade in that outer corner shade together by using shade number one. I don't know why I didn't show you guys on the palette, but it's the first shade on the top left. Next, I'm going to be adding liner, um, and I'm using a potted liner from NYX here. Usually, I can kind of tweak it a little bit if I want to. By using this liner, I can really put the glitter on first because it's dark enough and thick enough to go over it, but I just prefer to do the liner first and then go back and fill in if I need to. It's just easier to do it that way for me. This glitter is from Glitter Addict and it's called Fairy Dust. It's a chunky glitter. It does have like little cosmetic pieces of glitter in it. It's very pretty. It's um, kind of like an iridescent pinkish green. I felt like that was the only one I had that would be close to the one that's in the arm art picture. And I used Lash Glue to tack it on because I ran out of my NYX glitter glue. After finishing applying the glitter, I'm going to move on to my inner tear duct area, my eyelashes, and mascara. And that's basically it for this tutorial. Purple is almost black from a Morphe powder to deepen up the outside corners of my eyes. And I only did that because I wanted it to look more like the arm art photo. And I'm about to flash that on the screen in just a few seconds. 
I wanted to show you guys that you can achieve a cute purple look from using the violets alone as well as mix some other palettes in. That's what I plan on doing in the next few tutorials is kind of mixing them up so you guys can see how compatible they are together. I hope you enjoyed this look. Slaying the look with you guys was fun. I will see you on the next tutorial and on hairandpart.com.